there's one thing I've learned about exploring in the Midwest is that like things don't exist unless you go out and find them. <laughs> I got a harness on, I got a lamp, and I got two pairs of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> North Dakota will never be a Yosemite. The sand is like, did I say sand? The rock is really sandy. Like I didn't know if I should call it sand or rock. It's kind of like the, the wild west out here as far as, you know, climbing goes. Woo! So we rack up, uh, get the gear, I grab a .5 and I put it in the, in the crack and clip a, a long sling into it and I start bounce testing it. Oh, okay. So, no whippers. One of the weird things about rock climbers is that they don't just exist in the mountains. You kind of learn to make do with what you have. Have you ever filmed big wall climbers before? <laughs> As the sport of climbing has evolved, it's started making its way into the places that have been overlooked in the past. Kansas City climbing community is more psyched than any climbing community I've ever seen, and I live in Denver. <laughs> These North Dakota climbers, they have an like, extreme sense of pride, you know. Fuck you, John. crazy that, you know, here in the middle of Missouri, at some random little crag, there was this awesome roof route. Super overhung, good holds, probably the best route in Missouri. And all of a sudden, this huge, clean, 150-foot wall just rises out from the forest floor. I didn't know this kind of climbing existed in Michigan, and I've been living about an hour away from it for the last three and a half years. <laughs> We believe that adventure isn't reserved for the elite. Ah! There are stories worth telling in Midwest towns, on VHS camcorders, on the open range, and most of all, on small walls. <laughs>